Hello, welcome to JXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is wake turbulence, what causes it, factors that influence it, and how it is avoided. What is wake turbulence? When an aircraft is moving, it leaves a trail or wake behind it. This wake is generated by the wingtip vortices. When a different aircraft flies into this wake, it will experience sudden movements and vibrations, which is called wake turbulence. Before we look at the factors that influence the wake and the avoidance procedures, we need to look at what are wingtip vortices. Wingtip vortices. When an aircraft moves forward, Above the upper surface of the wing, the air is at lower pressure. Below the lower surface of the wing, the air is at higher pressure. This pressure difference generates the lift force on the wings. At the wingtips, the high pressure air flows outward over the tips and creates a swirling motion. This motion is called vortex. It is created on both the wingtips and is called wingtip vortices. Wingtip vortices and wake turbulence. The wingtip vortices can extend up to 9 nautical miles behind the generating aircraft. The vortices will move with the wind or in still air it will sink down. When a different aircraft flies into these vortices, it encounters wake turbulence. The intensity of turbulence depends on the vortices. Let's look at the different factors that influence the wingtip vortices. Factors that influence wingtip vortices. Weight of aircraft. More weight means more lift is required, so the wingtip vortices will be stronger. Airspeed. Less speed means the vortices will be stronger, because the wing angle of attack will be higher. Aircraft configuration. In higher flap configuration, the vortices' strength are lower. Attitude. When the pitch attitude of an aircraft increases, the strength of vortices increases. Based on the above factors, it can be concluded that the strength of the wingtip vortices are highest during takeoff and landing. As the strength of the vortices increases, the severity of the wake turbulence also increases. How to avoid wake turbulence? When aircraft encounters wake turbulence, it can cause the aircraft to roll towards one side and then roll in the opposite direction. On some aircraft, it is recommended to not over-control the aircraft since it is difficult to predict the aircraft behavior and trying to control the aircraft can worsen the situation. To avoid wake turbulence, there are separation rules which are to be followed. The separation rules depend on the wake category, which is based on the maximum takeoff weight. The wake category and the maximum takeoff weight are given here. In flight, there are separation procedures that are followed by aircraft flying on the same route. A lateral and vertical separation becomes applicable between the aircraft. On ground, there is a time separation that is to be maintained between successive landings and takeoffs. That's all for my video on wake turbulence. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please share and subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.